Hey, what's up everybody? My name is D and welcome to Smart and Good Channels. Now today in these videos, I have a very cool tutorials that I want to share with you guys. If you guys haven't watched my last videos, in the last videos, I show you guys how to install this website's templates right here. Basically, this is the Goodbye Store. It is Best Buy clone website. It has a very nice design as you can see right here. So if you haven't watched that videos, please check out my channels and you know exactly how to install this website right here. But uh, before we get started, let me review a little bit about this active logo right here. So whenever you sign up for this website right here using Smart and Good Website Builder and when you enter your site titles, it will automatically populate the uh, logo right here for you okay so in order to add products from our phone first we need to set up a couple of things on our websites so all you have to do is just go back to your dashboard over here as you can see I already opened it so once you are over here you can install jetpack okay now this is a free plugin where you can download from WordPress directory now if you sign up for a smart and good website builders this plugin is already pre-installed for you so all you have to do is just uh, click on it okay now all you have to do is just uh, click right here to connect your websites with wordpress.com okay now we can uh, click right here if you don't have the account you can uh, create a wordpress.com account and then you'll be able to log in and you'll be able to configure jetpack with your websites okay so since I already have the account all I have to do is just uh, click right here to log in okay but if you don't have the account you can uh, click right here to continue without the user account okay we can uh, click right here to log in okay and just like that I'm logging with my WordPress account and right now it's just authorizing okay and just like that I can approve okay you guys and just like that I'm connect with wordpress.com account now I can go back to my websites over here okay and if I refresh this page over here and if you scroll down here you will see jetpack stat okay so whenever people visit your websites you see all of the stat where they visit your websites and uh, how long they stay on your websites okay now all you have to do is just uh, go to jetpack over here we can go to the uh, dashboard over here we can configure some settings uh, we can check out of the stat as you can see right here we can see how many views and stuff like that all right you guys in order to add products to our woocommerce online store first we need to go to the app store once you are over here you can enter the woocommerce keywords right here and as you can see right here we see woocommerce we need to install this one as well as we need to install the wordpress app and as you can see right here i already have these two apps installed we need to open wordpress okay we can uh, click right here to open now we need to uh, log in with the account we just created on wordpress.com now we can uh, click right here to log in we can enter the email address continue now we need to enter the password okay now we can uh, click continue okay and just like that i'm logging to my wordpress.com now we need to locate the site okay as you can see better buy right here we can uh, click skip as you can see this is the uh, dashboard of your website when you are over here you can check out of the stat you can uh, click right here to enable the stat on your site we can go back we can check out the post we can even create the post on the comfort of our phone right here we can go back and we can check out of the pages we have on our website and we can uh, check out the themes the menu and the uh, plugins we can uh, enable or disable a certain plugins on our phone okay so the next thing we need to do is that we need to go back and we need to uh, go to WooCommerce okay we can uh, click right here to open now we need to enter our site okay we can uh, click right here we can enter the URL of our website right here okay we can uh, click right here to continue now if you sign up for a website with Smart and Good Website Builders you are going to enter the uh, customs domain name right there now you need to enter the uh, username and password this is going to be the same username and password you use to sign up for a website with our website builder okay we can uh, click right here we can uh, click right here to continue 
And just like that, we are logging into our WooCommerce online store. Okay, you guys, and just like that, we are in our store. As you can see, we can see all of the uh, stats for today, for this week, for this month, or for this year. And uh, this is uh, how much we make uh, so far, as you can see down here. And if you scroll all the way down, as you can see down here, we have the orders. Okay, so I make a test orders. Uh, as you can see, this is the uh, customers and the order is processing. And you can uh, click right here to change the uh, status of the orders. You can change to a complete or a pending payment, for example. Okay, and this is the products that the uh, customer purchase. And this is how much it's going to cost. All right, and we can even issue a refund if the customer pay with the uh, credit card. Okay, and uh, over here is our products. And these are all of the uh, products we have available on our website right here. We can uh, click on these products right here and we can even make the changes. Okay, so let me show you guys how to add a new product. All you have to do is just uh, click on the plus signs right here. We can add a simple physical product. We can add a virtual product, a variable product, a group product or external products where you link the product to a different website. Okay, so now all you have to do is just uh, click on the uh, simple products. We can uh, click the add products image, add photos, choose from our device, and we can go to our library to check out. Uh, for example, I'm going to uh, choose this image right here because I just create a website for a nail salon, so I have some nails pictures on my phone. Okay, so don't mind me. We can uh, click right here to add a new title. For example, it's going to be nail supplies. Okay, nail supplies. And we can give the product descriptions, test description. All right, we can even uh, highlight this right here. We can add bold. We can uh, uh, give it a order list, for example. Okay, nice, cool. And we can make all uh, of the changes right here, as you can see. And once you're done, you can uh, hit done right here and you can add the price for your products. This is a very cool way you can take pictures on your phone and then you can start adding the products to your websites by simply go in here, add the products, give it a price. For example, it's going to be 200, but right now it's on sale for 150. Okay, you can schedule this sales right here. You can choose from uh, this date to uh, this date that the price is going to be on sale for 150. When it go over this date right here, the price will go back to uh, 200. All right. We can uh, go over here. We can add the skills numbers. We can add these managed stocks right here. And we are going to give it uh, the uh, quantity of 20, for example. When we sell all of these, the system will send an email to notify you that the stock is low. Okay, we can choose the uh, products. We can add more details. We can choose a category. We can go over here. We can choose the current category, for example, home and office, or we can add a new category. For, it's going to be nail supplies. Okay, we can uh, click right here to save. And just like that, we can uh, click right here to uh, done. And uh, we can uh, click right here to uh, publish. And just like that, we are publishing the products to our websites. And the product is safe right now. We can uh, click right here to go back. Let me show you on the uh, front end of the website. As you can see, we can go over here, better buy. Okay, we can uh, click right here to refresh. So I try to pre-build this website as much as possible. So when you sign up for this website right here or any website using our website builders, you get a almost complete website. All you have to do is just go in here and make a couple of changes using the uh, Elementor's page builder. And you can make the changes for these words right here. And uh, let's uh, refresh this uh, page right here. And if we scroll all the way down here, you see the products we just add from our phone. Voila. Okay, we can uh, click right here to preview the products. Now, it's going to be the same thing if you want to add a variable product. Okay, 
Now let me uh, go back to our WooCommerce app right here. Let's add another product. We are having so much fun. Okay, we can add the uh, variable products. We can choose the images. For example, we are going to give it a test title. Nice. Description, nice one. All right, done. We are going to uh, add variation. Okay, now we can add the attributes. For example, we are going to add different colors. For example, we can uh, click on the colors right here. Now we are going to give the uh, options name. For example, we are going to offer a white color. Okay, we can uh, hit enter and then we can give it a black color. We can hit enter. Okay, now we can uh, hit next. Okay, and just like that, we have the attributes color with black and white. We can uh, click next. Now we can generate variations. All right, generate all variations. Okay, okay, you guys, and just like that, we add two variations. Okay, so this products right here, we have a white and we have a black color, and we can click on the three dots on the top right hand. We can both update. We can give it a price. For example, it's going to be 200, right? We can uh, click right here to save because this is only two variations. But if you are dealing with like uh, 10, 20 variations, this is the fastest way to give your products a price. Okay, we can uh, click right here to cancel. Now, all of your variations will have the $200 price list. Now, let's say if you have a different price for a different color, for example, the black one is going to be 250, right? 250. We can uh, click done right here. And the cool thing about this is that you can even add a variations image right here. All you have to do is just click right here, add a photos. Okay. And you can even give it a stock right here. And you can even add more details. For example, if this product costs too much to ship, you can enter a different price. You can enter the uh, weight, the length. Okay, and you can customize the shippings. I think I already make a videos to show you guys how to customize the settings for different products, different prices, different weight, uh, different class. Okay, but if I didn't do it yet, I will try to make another videos to show you guys how to do that. So make sure you subscribe to my channels. And if you like this videos, please give me a like. Okay, now all you have to do is just click save. All right, you guys, and just like that, we save another variation products to our website. Now let's uh, go back to our website right here, and we can uh, click right here to go to our home. All right, and if you scroll all the way down, you s you can uh, refresh this page right here. Okay, so something went wrong. I don't think we save and publish the products. We can go back over here. We can save the products. So the products is currently saving. See, we didn't really publish the products. Now we can uh, publish the products and the product is safe. Okay, now we can go back to our website right here. We can refresh. And just like that, you guys, we have a variation test products on our websites. Okay, so we have the uh, color variation right here. We can choose black or white. For example, we are going to choose black so it's going to be 250. So the range is 200 to 250. People can go over here. They can uh, click right here to add the products to the cards. Okay. And for example, let me uh, click on this one right here. And people can go to the cards. They can check out this products right here. So as you can see, this website is very nice design. Uh, designed by me. So. When you sign up for a website with Smart and Good Website Builder, I try to provide you guys all of the support you need in order for you to be successful. Okay, as you can see, this uh, logo right here, when I click on it, nothing happened, right? Let me uh, show you one bonus tips. You can go to the headers over here. Okay, open it on a new tab because I'm still using this one right here. I'm still working on it. We can go to the uh, Elementors page builders okay and as you can see right here we have the elementor pro page builder and this is a pro features 
you can uh, click right here to edit this active logo right here and as you can see right here I'm currently connecting it to the site title so whenever people sign up for this website they enter the site titles uh, their site title will be populated right here okay so now we are going to give it a link right uh, so we want to link this logo to our site URL so whenever people click on this right here it will take them to the home page okay now we can go to the uh, dynamic tag right here we can go to the uh, site URL right here and just like that we linked it into our websites we can uh, click right here to update and we can uh, click right here to preview all right and just like that you guys so when now people click on this one right here it'll take them to the home page as you can see right here and it's going to be the same thing if you want to make the changes for this menu right here or this uh, uh search bar right here okay people can uh, click right here to edit it with elementors this is elementor pro so whenever you sign up for a website with smart and good website builder you will get elementor pro for your website so you can experience of the premium features and stuff like that all right, you guys, I want to uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video is helpful to you. And if it's helpful to you, please give me a like and subscribe to follow more contents like this in the near future. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next videos. Peace.